Close your eyes and watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. Take it. Start out with a couple of good, nice, long, deep in and out breaths. And if long breathing feels good, keep it up. If not, you can change. You want to give yourself a good, solid place to stay so you don't get knocked around by things. Any thoughts that come in the mind right now, don't follow them. Don't pay any attention to them. This is one of the main problems we have, is we try to focus on something good, and all of a sudden we find ourselves blown someplace else. Our minds are like sailboats. We've got the sails way up high and wide, catching all the breezes that come by. Sounds, ideas, other people's words. Other people's words are some of the strongest winds. It's funny, the, the wind that comes out of a person's mouth speaking isn't all that strong, but it can blow our sailboats all the way across the world. So we have to be careful. Or not to take your sails down so that no matter how much anybody blows in your direction, you don't get blown around. And what are the sails? Are the sails here? Your sense of conceit, your sense of, I don't want anybody to touch my name, I don't want anybody to say anything bad about me. Just let that go. Just take that sail down. Because what other people say, it's their business. Your, your, word, your name may be in their mouths, but to what they do with that word, that's their business. It's not yours. You have to remember the. Your name isn't even something you came with. It's something that was given to you. The world gave it to you, and so the world can do anything they want to with it. And so you keep your boat on course, in the, right in the direction you want to go. Take the sails down, and you have to do your own rowing. In other words, you have to be the one who makes the effort to go to what's right. You can't. Other people's words don't make you good, and they don't make you bad. When they praise you, it doesn't make you better than you were before. When they criticize you, it doesn't make you any worse. You have to realize it's their karma. And you've got to keep your sights on where you really want to go. In this case, you want the mind to get still. You want the mind to be solidly concentrated so it can look around itself and see what really needs to be done, what doesn't need to be done, what's really right and what's not right. Because there are a lot of things that are right in terms of other people's words, but they're really wrong in terms of the Dharma, and vice versa. And if you let yourself get blown around by what people say, okay, you miss what's what's true. So take down the sails and do your own rowing. Don't expect other people to blow you in the direction you want to go. You've got to make up your mind where you want to go with this lifetime, and you've got to put in the effort. Otherwise, you end out in the middle of the ocean, who knows where. Because you look at the winds of the world, and you see that picture of the typhoon from the satellite. It just goes around and around and around. Parts of it go north, parts of it go east, parts of it go south, parts of it go west. There's no one direction you can rely on it. And the ways of the world are just that way. People's words can go in all directions. And if you let yourself listen to them all the time, you get blown around in who knows what direction. You don't know where you're going to end up. But if you listen to the Dharma and take that as your guidance, okay, it's a radio wave that tells you, okay, you go straight north here and you're going to get to what's really good. Okay, you just keep going north, regardless of which direction the winds are coming from. And that way you get to where you want to go.